So when you're making random bits and pieces, I needed a different version of this for the axles I'm building. Anyhow, complete and utter failure of a gauge. Uh, I think we sent to a little too hard. I'm not entirely sure why this failed. And this is just got old and it was a cheap Chinese gauge anyways. This runs on that little bit of gear and nail that moves the nail back and forth and was connected over here at this end. And it was it fell out, was broken a long time ago. I heard it leaking, and I guess the cop was just record, recording over time and busted out right there. Yep. Anybody want a, a gauge? What I'm going to do is I'm going to saw it off right here, drill it and tap it for an 832 screw, and I'm going to push back in there to fix it. Because I care that much. Alright, so I have I have fixed this leak, as you can plainly, plainly see. Um, so what I did is I drilled, a, I drilled that hole, I embiggened it some. Very carefully and precisely. After, of course, having cut this off with a hacksaw because precision was of key heel. So I cut that off and I, I tapped it for an 832 screw. You don't need no stinking gauge. So, this is the new way you check the pressure. Right be, right on top of the, the poppet valve on, on the tank. So you see what the, the compressor is actually doing, not what's in the tank. So you walk over there and the screw is in it and there's air coming out the there's air pressure in the tank. It's doing its job and it's flawless. If you walk over there and the screw has blown out the side and there's air hissing out and the whole machine's shaking and making horrible sounds, you may want to be concerned or if you don't care at that particular moment in time, you're going to ignore it and go back to whatever it was you were doing. So screws in there and you have air. It's the correct amount of pressure. If the screw is missing, you probably have an excessive amount of pressure and you may you may want to consider doing something about that. I don't know. It's just up to you. And if there's no air in the tank and the compressor is pumping and so on and so forth, that could also be an issue. It depends on how much air you actually want at the moment. Just saying.